Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this new video. This time I want to show you how to enable two-factor authentication to your Cisco Meraki account. As you could see, uh, Meraki only requires by default the email address or the user account and the password to provide access to the management console. No matter how complex your password is, your email address is pretty much a public information, which means that a uh, potential hacker already knows half of your credentials to log in to the management console. So that's why you must enable two-factor authentication to protect your account from brute force attacks or any other type of attacks that can guess your password. So it's a pretty simple setup to do it. You only need to log in to your account then you would click on the um, on your uh, email address or your name. You go to profile, and then right from here, you scroll down to two-factor authentication, and you're going to have the option to set up two-factor authentication. And you have the option of either using the authentication app or you can use SMS. Uh, as you can see here at this moment, SMS is not available in all locations uh, and all countries. And SMS is not as secure as the application. So if you have the option, go for the app instead of SMS. But no matter what, a two-factor authentication is better than single-factor authentication. So in my case, I have an Android phone. I'm going to click on Android. That's going to uh, give me the QR code to a scan. So I'm going to scan it on my phone. I got it. Obviously, you are not seeing this because this is happening on my phone. But something that you um, have to keep in mind is um, write this down. These are a one-time uh, passcodes in case your two your two factor authentication does not work. So let me pause this for one second while I continue setting the um, the application on my phone, and I'll get back in one moment. Okay, I am back. I already added the um, uh, Meragi to my Google Authenticator app, I just scan the QR code within the application and I'm going to enter my code right now. And as you could see, my mobile app is already configured. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to log off and I'm going to log back in and that should prompt me for the two-factor authentication code. And here it is, right? As you could see, let me just wait for that code to refresh because it is about to expire. I never do remember this verification code, uh, but it's up to you to enable that option. I, I don't recommend it, but um, it's completely up to you. I'm going to verify and here I am. So that's how you enable two factor authentication on your Cisco Meraki account. Uh, if, if you don't have that enabled at this moment, I will definitely do it uh, because it just takes someone to guess your password once and then they'll have complete access to your account and have whatever access you have so please go ahead and do so i hope i hope this video was useful to you if it was please give me a click on the like button i would really appreciate that that would help me uh, do better with the um, uh, youtube algorithms and get better position have a great day bye